This episode was made possible thanks to generous supporters on Patreon. It's that song that you've been playing for years and for some reason it gets worse and worse no matter how much you practice it. If you want to know what's the solution to this problem, this video is right for you. We've all experienced this problem with the song that you've been playing for quite a long time and at a certain stage it seems like the quality of our playing is decreasing. This is what I call song entropy and luckily I found a solution of this problem. The way that the brain works is much like an ordinary computer and we have this sort of operational memory that according to scientific researches has roughly four operating slots. This means that we can't deal with more than four pieces of information at once. That's why the brain starts chunking, which essentially is the process of combining these pieces of information into bigger structures, which then occupy just one of these four slots and therefore it's easier to work with it and later store it into the long-term memory. If we translate this into how we learn music, if you imagine that you're learning a riff or a solo, at the beginning you start note by note and often it might not even make sense at the start and you probably could could not even recognize the melody, but once you advance into it and you start memorizing it and you actually start forming chunks and then the entire riff becomes one large chunk and you play it fluently and you don't need to think of it as one note at a time anymore. And this is the key idea behind the solution of the song entropy. When we play something for a very long time, it slowly starts accumulating mistakes because the connections between the smaller components starts weakening. Chunking is also the reason why when you start playing something and you stop for some reason, uh, you need to go back to the beginning of the phrase uh, in order to be able to play the entire structure. You can't just start from a random note. And when these connections start weakening and sometimes they get lost, this is how a mistake appears. And then if we just keep playing the song, hoping that practicing it the same way will just repair the mistakes, it's actually solidifying them. So. To get the things back in order, let's do some To solve the problem with accumulating mistakes, we need to do some reverse engineering of the entire process and then just fix the problematic link. As I said, this accumulation happens because of weakening the internal bonds into the chunk and essentially we only need to repair these connections. The solution is very simple and it goes into five steps. Step one, take the song and divide it into smaller sections in order not to load your brain with too much information. Step two, take one section and start playing it at 50% of the original tempo, not slower, not faster. If you play it slower, you will start losing the melodic connection. If you're tempted to play it faster because you're overconfident, then this method won't work because you will be into a chunking mode again. Step three, go through all of the sections and play every single one of them at 50% of the original tempo. Step four, play the entire song at 50% of the original tempo. And the final step five is to start from 50% of the tempo and gradually increase it until you reach the original tempo. During this process, you will be able to pinpoint exactly where these accumulated mistakes are and playing it slowly will give you the opportunity to repair them and then 
increasing gradually the tempo will help you to solidify the repaired bonds and the correct version of the song. And after you've finished, it's very likely that you will actually play the song better than ever before. So that's everything for this episode and I hope you find it useful. Thank you very much for watching and please share your thoughts and questions in the comments below. And if you like my work, consider supporting me on Patreon on the link down in the description where you can get many useful things like tabs, audio downloads, exclusive materials and membership starts as low as $3 per month. Also, if you're a first time viewer, please subscribe to my channel and click that bell notification button to get informed when I upload new video. See you next time and remember, practice makes perfect. Mm -hmm.